Hello there, welcome to my channel. So, I become I think I'm becoming addicted to just talking on here. So, if you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews. I normally do them in the car. And this is a normal, I guess it's normal in the fact that I'm doing them in the car. But, so, I am addicted to these Fiesta burritos at Taco Bell. The only difference is, because they're cheap, they're only $2.00. And they taste good. And please tell me I got my lactose pills. I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to take lactose pills. So, um, it has all kinds of goodies on it. Black beans, cheese, sour cream, guacamole. It's no meat. But it does have dairy, like a lot. It has cheese and sour cream. And Anyway, it has chipotle sauce. Whatever kind of chipotle. I don't like that. To me, it just... It's a spice that I don't like. I like hot and I like spicy, but kind of like, I don't know. It's almost like, well, it's Chipotle. So, like, I'm not crazy about Chipotle sometimes. So, anyway. I also like the, the red strips because they taste kind of old and stale and not high quality. And I'm, like, a quality fanatic when it comes to chips. But they also put hot ranch. So, yeah, we're going to try that. So, anyway, I always say the Fiesta Burrito grilled and um, no red strips. I always add avocado ranch, okay? That is, like, the best sauce ever that Taco Bell has ever made. Or one of the best. A lot of people don't know this. I used to work at Taco Bell a long time ago. I asked them to grill the tortillas on the side, but she said they might burn, so they just warmed them up, which is fine. Um... I went inside because the Taco Bell next to my house. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They keep messing up on stuff. The one by the Walmart in my town that's a little bit further, they n hardly ever mess up and they're so nice. And Oh, it's just day and night. Then that's a little bit of a drive. And that's why I wanted two in one container. And what does she do? Puts them in two. Which is, you know, whatever. Mm. So... This is what it looks like. And the other one looks like there's more tomatoes on it. Yeah, it's not exactly the same. Don't ask me if you get more food this way. So, I, dep I guess it depends on the Taco Bell, but you know, you're supposed to pre-measure it out, so probably not. Oh, I wish I had some chips right now. I could dip it in there. I'm not crazy about Taco Bell's chips. There's a Mexican restaurant near our house. They have amazing chips, by the way. Amazing. So, you know what? Let's try this avocado. Oh, isn't, I'm sorry. Avocado ranch is what I added to it instead of Chipotle. This is... Oh, it kind of stinks. It's hot ranch. Mmm, is that hot? I should use my record, like, my thumbnail. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh my goodness, is it hot? I am shocked because their sauces, even their Diablo and their hot sauce, is not. Oh my god. Taco Bell, you went from having hot sauce and Diablo sauce that's not even hot to this, which is ridiculously hot. I know a lot of people do not like hot food. They're not going to like that. I like hot food, and that's too hot for me. That is still burning my mouth. Mm-mm. No. So, let me tell you. You already know. My roommate, which is my significant other, is in the Philippines. His father is sick. And when he comes back home, I don't know when that's going to be. He wants to be a traveling therapist. Physical therapist. And, like, travel all over America. I guess I live in hotels and or apartments. 
so he can see the um, America and travel, which I totally understand. I do. But the thing is, I'm so used to living in my home, and I don't know if I can just up and rent it out or sell it or whatever. And just make this huge leap. It's not that I don't. It's not that I do. Hold on. By the way, I'm parked like in like a little forest area. There's like a little water here and stuff. And um, so that's been really bothering me, <clears throat> and I miss them a lot. So what I'm thinking about doing is. Mmm, this is so good. You gotta eat this. It keeps on falling. I'm thinking about doing is letting him go and then visiting him for like prolonged periods of time. I and mean, if I get adjusted to the that environment of traveling and whatnot and staying away from my home. That, that juncture right out the house. But the thing is, that house is not my house. It's my father's house. I just rent from my dad. And so, this is so good. It has two different kinds of cheeses, black beans, sour cream, avocado, the chipotle, which I say no. Tomatoes, red strips, which I say no, and add avocado ranch. I cannot tell you how good this avocado ranch is. It's like absolutely amazing. Mmm. And so, I'm going to start ordering this way because I like it grilled, but it's like they always put so much bread. So, let me tell you. It's been so hard for me at nighttime, though. It's getting dark, and that's the reason why I left the house. Because, like, he normally comes home from work, and it's like no one's in the house. And so... Do you know a fact that Taco Bell actually invented the hard shell taco? They don't have those in Mexico. And Taco Bell is not Mexican food. If you think it is, I'm sorry, you're wrong. It's not. No more as Fazoli's is Italian food. Fazoli's is not Italian food. It's a white person's... Just... How do you say it? It's like an American's... Slap in the face to an Italian. I'm calling Italian food. But, I'm eating Taco Bell. Gringo food. And so, it's frustrating because I want to go see him. Because I'm disabled so I don't work. I want to go and see him. And go to the Philippines before he comes back home. And then while I'm there, on the way back home, maybe go to Thailand or something. Because I don't have to, like, rush home. I can be gone as long as I want. And have someone that's going to watch the house, too, by the way. Um, so that's good. They actually might stay in the house. Like, high percentage. Like, 96%. The entire time. Um, but the flight... I've... Did you just have just got my neck and back? Okay. And it's not for luxury purposes, but I only went to the Philippines once and we went, me, him and I went on business class. It was $2,200 around there. Um, was it both ways? Round trip. And it was still expensive and I used a credit card. So I didn't pay the full amount because I got like points or something like a sign up bonus. And I'll try to leave a link below the video on that. 
So I got like quite a bit of money off. I think I got four or five hundred off, or maybe I think I got maybe six or eight hundred off actually. Between five and between five and eight hundred, something around there. So we'll just say six. But I don't think it was six. I think it was eight hundred. No, it wasn't. It was five hundred. It was five hundred. And so, um, if I buy business class, it's like four thousand dollars one way. Another four thousand dollars back. That's eight thousand dollars. I don't have that kind of money. Hello. If I buy economy, it's not that expensive. I'm gonna have to set up for closer to twenty hours, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. Even if it's ten hours, hell, even if it's eight. I can't be sitting in a, in a, in a, in a chair for you no know, eight hours with my. I can't not even with pain pills. Let me tell you something. My foot has been killing me, and today I almost cried. My teacher just did degenerative disc in my neck hurt so bad today. I had to take extra, 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 extra pain pills, and my foot still hurts. Not as bad, but the neck it still hurts bad. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. It may not sound stressful to you, but it's stressing me out. But I'm gonna keep myself busy. I've been cleaning, decorating, organizing. I have so much stuff. Let me tell you. I have a converted garage and it is full of stuff. I don't get rid of a lot of it. Yard sells something. Even if I was to live in that house the rest of my life. I'm still gonna get rid of a lot of stuff, no matter what. But boy, do I miss my childhood home! I miss it so much. Where's above ground pool? Oh, I miss it. I miss it so much. I don't miss the dysfunctional part of the family, though. Well, I ate one, one more. I'm already kind of getting full. This is two dollars right here. I don't. Know. Anyone in comments? Then tell me what I should or shouldn't do. Not to tell me what I should or shouldn't do. What you know? Just point out some things. Cause I tried to have someone tell me what to do. I do what I want, you know. But you know what I'm saying. Oh, what else has been going on? Just lonely. I could use a hug right now. A big old hug. I love hugs. I'm not a very sexual person. I can be. I'm more asexual, which is not a choice. Um, what, is it, what is it when you sustain from sex? A virgin never had sex. If you choose to sustain from sex, I don't know what that's called. I forget. I know. I, I know it. I just forgot it. Like it's on the tip of my tongue. Celibacy. I'm not a celibacy person. I'm a person that is asexual. I'm not interested in sex. I'm not crazy about sex. I could care less about sex. Like most of the time. And then every once in a while, I get this like, dang, they put a lot of black beans in here, which is good. Every once in a while, I get this like, starts with an H and ends with a Y. And then at that juncture, I could be interested in SEX. I don't worry about kids watching this. All my videos, YouTube asks me when I upload it. Is this made for kids? I'm like, no. Even if even if I just say, hi, welcome to my channel. Even if it's something so smiled. Mm -mm, I don't want kids watching this stuff. Nope. So I'll just say sex instead of S-E-X. Every once in a while, like, you know. I'll get the H with the Y at the end. Mm, there's a truck driving up here. And so, um. I might have to pause it. I don't know who this is. I'm not saying I'm not supposed to be on this road, but it's like a road that people just don't come down. Because there's like some 
I don't know what it is behind me. It's something for like the city or something. But I think there's like one or two people that li actually live out here. <sighs> so, um, what was I going to say? Anyway, that's what I was saying. I really wish I could have a hug right now because I, yeah, that's like, mm -hmm. I'm a very emotional person too. I'm just giving you all kinds of information today, aren't I? That movie Polly with the bird. Not only every time I see that movie, you start up that movie, because I already know it's about, I already know it's going to happen. You start it up within, within like a couple of seconds. I would say within 10 minutes or maybe even a couple of seconds, I start crying. And I can't stop. I've cried so many times. I actually go to the movies with my friend, and she used to laugh at me, because I start crying in the movie, and she was like, really? And she started laughing at me. Mm, and speaking of her, let me tell you, one time, we were coming back from Austin, Texas, and it was kind of late at night. She was speeding. Fast. Because I remember telling her, like, you're really speeding fast, right? And so, we're on the back roads or whatever. Country roads. Country roads, take me home. There's an Asian person, whatever, that does that. Like, my roommate has it. But she speaks in, like, Japan, Japan or something. Like she's from Japan or something. What is that? When, you, when you're from Japan, what language is that? Put it in the comments below, because I don't even know. I like Chinese as Mandarin. Anyway. So we're on the road, country road, whatever, back road coming from Austin, and she gets pulled over. It's the same person that would laugh at me and make fun of me when I cried in movie theater. And the cop comes up to the window, and she starts bawling, and she rolls down the window, and she's crying, and she goes, I'm sorry, what did I do wrong? Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she admitted she was being. I don't remember. But I know she was crying really, really bad. It was a female cop. And the female cop said, you know, just be careful next time or whatever. And don't be speeding. And she didn't give her a ticket or nothing. So, um, I thought she was really crying. And the cop did whatever. I left. Went back in the cop car. And I think the cop car left first. I'm not really sure on that. Next thing I know, she's like, claps her hands and starts laughing. I mean, hard. And I was like, she was like, I wasn't really, she was like, and I was like, I thought you were really crying. And she was like, no. She's like, and I'm like, wow. I thought you were really crying. This They put a lot more in this one. I'm kind of getting tired of this. A lot of carbs if you add it with the bread because you need the rice and the car the bread too. But yeah. I think I probably could cry to fake it, but I don't have to. Well, I'm not saying I don't have to, because if something's not sad, I'm not gonna cry. But it's just easy for me to cry, you know what I'm saying? It's really hot in here. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? My depression's been kicking my butt, too. And my anxiety. Lately, though, it's my anxiety's gotten a little bit better. Sometimes I wake up. Do you ever wake up? If you have anxiety, let me know in the comments below. Do you ever wake up with anxiety? Because it's happened sporadically in my life. I'll wake up. It's like I know something is about to happen or will happen that's going to be bad. And there's something I could have done or should have done or will need to do to prevent this bad thing from happening. And a lot of people say, well, it's like, well, if you have anxiety, what is it that you're thinking about? What is it that you're worried about? I wake up with anxiety. Okay? And I don't know what's wrong. I just know something bad is going to happen, may happen, or will happen. But I don't know what. I don't know. I, no one can, you know, people say, oh, well, what is it so we can talk about? It. I'm like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I hate it. I hate my depression, but my anxiety is the worst. But my depression is just there. You know? 
to sleep or whatever. But anxiety, mm-mm, it's bad. I hate it. I don't have OCD, so that doesn't help the matter. And I don't have the typical OCD where I like wash my hands a million times a day. I just obsess over certain things and don't even, and a lot of times I don't even know about it. Like I'll talk about something for three hours, four hours. And I don't even know when I'm doing it. I know I'm talking about it, but I don't know that I'm obsessing over it. I just thought I was just talking about it. Like I don't realize it, you know, until someone brings it to my attention. And a lot of times my significant other doesn't. And I guess because he just doesn't want to be mean to me, which I really am grateful for. This hot ranch is too spicy. Oh, and the neighbor's dogs, or the dog, it got out. She's like a little bitty, she's not a puppy still, but I've been trying to get her, grab her and take her back home. To her house next door. I don't know. Let's just take her in the house and take care of her. Because the people next to me sure don't take care of their dogs. Not at all. I said that the other day on a video. One of them, she looks like... She looks like... One of them, she looks like Benji. But the hair is like a darker color. But it's that same kind of Benji dog. From the movie or whatever show. Movie. I don't remember what Benji was about now. Anyway, I could see her bones. She was so bony, and now she's like kind of chunky. And she's finally wagging her tail at me after all, what, after feeding her for like two years now. Finally, she waved her tail at me. She's smart though. When I like throw food over or the other dogs, she doesn't run and fight them. She just like looks at me like, "Uh, I'm special. Give me food." And so like I'll like throw her food just specifically. And she has that look to her. Like she'll look at you like, "Uh, yeah." But, um, yeah. I would get a dog, but one day they die, and then we get depressed. Plus, I have a really busy road in front of my street, and if that dog ever gets out, which it could, because my privacy fence is pretty much non-existent. It's falling over. It's dry rotty. It looks horrible. And, um, I don't have the money. And if I did have the money, I'm not putting it in the fence, because I've lost already three houses... One I worked my ass off for, then there was Habitat, I worked my ass off for that house, plus my childhood home, and one of the houses I put a lot of money and energy and time into, and I put a fence in pretty much myself, um, and I soaked it in Thompson's water for like six times to last me forever, okay? But when you lose a lot, when you put sweat, money, energy, tears, hard work into something, is this taken from you like that? It, it changes you. It really does. You know, and that, that saying, good things come to those who wait, not always. Or, you know, work hard, don't don't take the easy way out of life. Sometimes it's better to take the easy way out. Sometimes it's not good to work hard. Because it doesn't always pay off. Waiting, waiting around and having patience doesn't always pay off. I like that saying, they say, good things come to those who wait. And then the person says, no. The, the person says... Good things, to come, good things come to those who wait, and then the person says, and better things come to those who take. As long as you're not stealing. Or like taking advantage of someone. You don't want to do that. But you can take advantage of the opportunity. And use your smarts instead of hard work. And dedication and all that other stuff. But, you know, it's all relative to the situation and the person at hand. So until next time... Leave comments. I read them all. I check YouTube sometimes six times a day. At least two or three times a day. I hope you have an awesome day. And happy Easter. Easter's tomorrow. Um, probably Monday I might go to um, Target. Because I love the Cadbury mini eggs. Everyone talks about the cream eggs. I like the Cadbury mini eggs. And um, I've actually made ice cream with them. Which, by the time you get the rich chocolate, it's already kind of, it's, I like to get very many eggs, but when you make chocolate ice cream with them, when you melt it with the cream and, and the milk, you have to add so many eggs to finally get it to that point where it's really chocolatey, and then by the time it's chocolatey enough, it's like extremely sweet, um, 
And I don't know why it just doesn't seem that way when you eat the eggs. It's still good, though. Um, but I love Easter. Like, out of all the holidays, if I, I don't decorate for holidays anymore. Because of all my losses. I just don't have the energy anymore. I really don't. It's sad what I've become. It's really, it's sad. Um, but of all the holidays, if I ever went all out in decoration, it would be Easter. It would be Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, whatever, Hanukkah, I don't know, whatever. Um, it would be Easter. I love the pastel colors. And maybe that's another reason why I like Hindu, like, deities and artwork and stuff. Because I think they're more pastel colors, too. Um, I'm fascinated with anything from India. Well, almost anything. Bollywood, the music, the food, the culture, the people. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Have a happy Easter.